give the art into help Miranda, the Citadel, there's Soul, there's help Zaid. Investigate Project Overlord. I forgot about that already. Um, recruit Overlord Tali. Overlord want to do. Yeah, it is, but it's very difficult if you're not prepared for it. But the thing, the, the thing about it is that, uh, the thing about it is that, uh, if you bring, if you bring Kasumi and you're, like, a full teched out person, like I am, um, it's actually very easy since they don't like tech, period. I'm not going to any other uh, systems in this area quite yet. <coughs> also, I like how they, they from from one to two they streamlined the game so much. Wait a minute! I just removed this plank of wood from here. The that colony it? found it 1617. Ah, huh. so they found this while we were still coming up from the dirt. Uh, barely even knew what, l what electricity was by that point. Uh, population surface, uh, 84.9 million. Population L4 and L5 station, 80,300. Capital, Los Astra. I'm not pronouncing that right. Orbital distance is uh, 1.3 AU. What does AU mean? Do you know what that means? Uh, no. Alright, uh, or orbital period is 1.5 years, so 18 months. Radius, 7,431 kilometers. Length of day is 25 Earth hours, so it's just, just a tad bit longer than Earth's. Um, atmospheric pressure is 1.15 at Earth's atmosphere, so it's a little bit stronger than Earth's. Uh, surface temperature is 63 Celsius. No, no, pressure thing. Surface gravity is 1.2. So this planet is, is just almost like Earth. And so this planet somehow got into its solar system's Goldilocks zone. You've heard that saying, right? The Goldilocks zone? Oh, yeah, I have. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. <clears throat> yeah, my weapons right now, I am very happy with. Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her <coughs> convenience. She's near the trading floor. Tell me about <coughs> it's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the terminal systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the city. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge and goods from the Terminus systems. You mentioned trading. 
What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world. Oh, I see port. what I did wrong. In order to remain competitive as a terminus systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find. Because I didn't get the code via the legal, via so the animatronic. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. I don't need the you crank. Can even buy servants. <clears throat> I can't believe in a sorry world would allow. That's the stuff that burns doesn't come out. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. <coughs> a contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. You said Liara was here? What is she doing? <coughs> Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Do any recommendations about what to do on Nosastra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. There we go, I figured that out. So if you knew the password beforehand, which is loser, you don't need to do the whole process, which is the reason why if you do the process as it's supposed to, uh, you die. Commander Shepard, I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. What message were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our I need to get my, my weapons and stuff. Our voice <clears throat> will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. How did you possess another Asari? You can't just take over people's minds like that. Peace, Shepard. The Rachni Queen does not control my thoughts. That was merely the message I was asked to deliver. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. <laughs> you said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari kind. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. 
I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. How did you find the right guy? I was working as a courier. Don't they have a lever of some sort somewhere? Ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was oh. Injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates <clears throat> who attacked you? They were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. <coughs> I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni War? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend on Novaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Oh, her! <clears throat> Wasn't even paying attention to my screen at the moment, but I just went up to her because I could. Uh, the one chick that you helped uh, pin down that, uh, the uh, Solarian for going after uh, Matriarch Benezia. This is more. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work for the city again. Sit down. Take down two or more enemies in one shot. Okay, I'll take it. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. <coughs> you ever heard of the collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Beer. Beer, beer, beer. <laughs> Shepard. Had to leave. Targets on me. Couldn't break cover. I saw a merchant smuggling schematics from Novaria. Can you talk to her and buy into showing you good showing you good stuff? Talk to merchant. Oh, if I remember correctly, this one should be easy enough. Mom, <laughs> you look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outbidding a team for a dangerous mission. 
I ain't the best, and I'm willing to pay for it, as long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small We're back in green health, you that's good. Items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on the Varia. And illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't no Varia. You don't have the authority to arrest me! I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I, I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Mm -hmm. Yo, dude, I'm I'm out. All right. All right, you take care. What did you send me, babe? But peace and speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. safety guarantee of anything going on to my suit. <laughs> Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop, or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White-collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. How'd you end up on Novaria, anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship turned out. I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids. You get good at hiding yourself helps with going undercover What's up next for you research we've had some hacking attacks lately and I want to make sure they're external a lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy my bosses want to know if it's something to worry about That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. It must be hard going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. 
You're Liara's assistant. Yes, Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields, if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. Shepard. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The Assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Shepard, it's... so... What, what about you, Liara? I could use your help on this mission. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here, things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Do you have 
have anything flashier. <laughs> I want something that says, I own this world. I own you. How can you short sell on prefabs after these human... Asari building structure resembles hive. Tall buildings filled with drones. Hmm, curious, social dynamic. Many queens competing for hive leadership. Odd feelings around Asari. Unfamiliar. Reminders of old fertility contract negotiations. Towers, traffic, lights, and Asari everywhere you look. I thought about living here for a while, but everybody's so tight ass. It's all about money to these people. I do what I do for the love of it. These people do it because they don't know any better. You should try it my way. Look at how the wind's blowing. data is vital to the Kurosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all, for mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I ch No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a few. I have a friend who's under the contract. Welcome to Baria Frontiers. Our sales kiosk is over there. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or... Did she kill somebody already? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, 
They're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. Thanks for your help. Good luck with the Justicar. Try not to piss her off. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous, and everything's for sale. Either we tax and monitor it to keep some control, or the smugglers get a monopoly. I don't know, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the danger- I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse Mercs, some Justicar, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. Damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. Oh, He's harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know? Because of the genophage. You have blossomed in a tower. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Non-Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart. Especially for Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him, he's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help.
You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Sometimes you say these things, and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian fox. Shepard, this is Liara. I've got the data. Come see me when you've got a... Hey, we're friends. I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing up pure blood? I did some stupid things to get away from the taunts. The stupid drug users you're laughing at, I might have been one of them. What about the stores over there? And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. The stores over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. I didn't mean... Okay, look, I'll take another look at the contract. Maybe it needs to be reclassified. Forget it. Do whatever you want. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Coming up later today, we release our annual list of Ilium's 10 richest people. Are the heavens still bright as starry blue? Or have the bolus finally rolled to the top? And don't miss our look at the fashion faux pas at the Commerce Awards held last week. All this and more on Financial Entertainment Daily. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much. But hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. I've got a lot on my plate. Remind me who the Shadow Broker is. He's the most powerful and dangerous information broker in the galaxy. No one knows who he is. Given his resources, there's speculation he may actually be a group operating under one name. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. 
Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the Observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Life can be uncertain. That's why you need an Omni-Gel programming solution that works. Whether constructing single-use equipment or breaking down salvage gear, Cision technology will be there for you. There are some problems Omni-Gel can't solve. For everything else, there's Cision technology, the division of Elcott Company. Twenty-five. Sell at twenty-five. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Come on, come on. Give me something. arrested watch yourself if you go in there some human is causing trouble he's demanding that I sign the place over to him I'll be careful or you could kill him you know legally in self-defense I'd make a really good witness failing that I'm hooking up security cameras now if he or anybody else causes trouble I'll have their asses arrested
five of the suspects are male. The observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant, Nick Saris. She got the information. Nick Saris gave me the information. Nick Saris, could I see you in here for a moment? Shepard, I'll talk to you later. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Burner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a Spectre? Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What, are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a Spectre working for the Council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. How'd you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. So you just wander the galaxy righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know, not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. 
goddess, that was embarrassing. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn Genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan thinks they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue up my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. You know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12. Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Well, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Thanks for the help.
You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Like everything's dangerous, and everything's for sale. On Shepard, it's good to see you again. Nixeras had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here. Nixeras was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. Did you have any trouble with Nixeras? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming, but her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. Is there anything else you need from me? No. You've done enough. If I find anything useful, I'll let you know. For now, I need to do what I do. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? I'll talk to you later, Liara. Short sell on the feedback.